Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to prep for printing. So let's say you made a, a brochure or any booklet that's uh, 8.5 by 11, for example, and you want to print it, you want to send that out to be printed. The way to prep this is, first of all, obviously go into output pre-flight and check out if there's any problems with it. Right now we have two over text. We already know what those are, doesn't matter, so we're going to leave those alone. Next, uh, obviously do your... Um, spell check, then you want to go to print booklet. Under print booklet, so I'm going to show you that again. So, print booklet. Go into InDesign, file, print booklet. Under print bo booklet, you're going to maybe see a printer up here, maybe PostScript, who knows. At this point, most of you might see a printer up here. That doesn't matter for now. We're just going to go into preview and you should see something like this and maybe a warning with page size, okay, regarding your paper size. Don't worry about that right now, we're going to teach you how to fix that. Anyways, this is the way that we're supposed to print a booklet, so the front cover prints with the back. Now if you're making an 8.5 by 11, that means you're printing on a 11 by 17 sheet of paper, okay? So what I actually mean is 17 by 11, since um, it's going to be white and then the length is just going to be 11, right? So um, let's just go into print settings. Under print settings, you're going to choose postscript file, okay? Although we have these printers right here, we're just going to put postscript file. Once we do that, uh, the paper size will actually fix itself, so you're good with that. Uh, then go to setup, marks and bleeds. Okay, you need all these things to be checked on, okay? So just click on this and make sure all these are on. You don't really need color bars at this point unless you're doing a big job, but most of you just click on it. It's okay. So if you're going to print shop, you want this to be on, okay? Your crop marks, your bleeds, everything. Output, you just go through it. Um, make sure in advance, presets, usually low or medium. Make sure it's high right now. And just click OK. After you click OK, you should see this OK. You shouldn't see any warnings at this point. You should see Postscript file right here. Um, also, most of you are doing saddle stitch from what I see in your comments. So just make sure to choose saddle stitch. Once again, saddle stitch is just um, staples. So you have two staples in the middle just to bring everything together. That's saddle stitched. Um, once you've done that, just print and uh, you're gonna see the, the little file right there. So we're just gonna click on print. Uh, we're gonna call it test for now. And we're just gonna put save, replace. Now it's going to give us the over set text again, doesn't matter. Okay, right now it's doing this Postscript file. Next, we're going to need a program called Distiller. With Distiller, we're going to make this work the way that it should. Now, if you're doing 8.5 by 11, as you know, that in total is 11 by 17. However, since you have your bleeds, it does extend beyond that 11 by 17. So, you're going to be printing, okay, well the guys at the shop are going to be printing on a 12 by 18 sheet of paper or maybe 13 by 19, depends how they print, okay. Most of them will do 12 by 18 in order to print your booklet that's in total 11 by 17. However, some might need 13 by 19, so make sure to bring your laptop with you to your print shop just in case you have to make changes in the end. Now this part about the distiller. Uh, most print shops will do this for you, however it's better if you do it yourself since you have the fonts and not all the print shops will have the same fonts as you. Okay, so Acrobat Distiller, just open that up. Okay, this Acrobat Distiller. At this point, most of you will see this high quality, okay? Now you want to click on there. Um, some people just want to go right into it, CMYK, okay? But we're just going to teach you the easy way, high quality print, okay? For most print shops, this is okay. Uh, this is the way they do it. Your file that you just exported is this right here. It's a PS file. It's not a PDF. You cannot view it, okay? You have to transform it with Adobe Distiller. Now, with Adobe Distiller, we're going to need to set this up the correct way. I'm going to pick right now 11 by 17 which, as you can see, I'm going to show you the settings that I picked up for that. But let's say you want to do it right from the start. So uh, go to high quality and print. We're going to go up here where it says settings. Under settings, you're going to go to edit Adobe PDF settings. Okay, and here's where the tricky part comes in. You guys don't want, um, although this is your 
page size, each page size. You want your overall size. So since this is the print size that we're doing for each page, that means we're printing on a 12 by 18 maybe or 13 by 19. So you want your width to be actually 12 at this point. So just change that up. Um, so we're just gonna tap our arrow keys. We're gonna erase that and we're gonna type in 18 right now, right here. And we're gonna type in another zero. We're missing a zero right here. Okay, so there's four zeros. And right here, it's gonna be 12. Okay, so 12.1234. Okay, so that's our width and height that we're gonna print our booklet on. Okay, make sure that you get this part right. And then you can preview it and see where you screwed up or not. Okay, um, so most of you, probably it's gonna be this or else it might be a 13 and then a 19 right there for the width okay so we're just gonna click on we're actually not gonna click on okay I was gonna about to say that but save this as a preset okay so you have this um, option pretty easy to click on later on so we're gonna pick on 18 by 12 settings save okay and here we go 18 by 12 so all we have to do is drag this onto here, okay, you're gonna see this plus sign, just let go, and it's gonna start converting it for you. So it's gonna make that PDF exactly the way it should come out, okay? At this point, just have to wait for it, and we're gonna preview our PDF exactly how it's supposed to look like in the end. So you're gonna be looking at spreads, um, your two spreads, once again, they have to fit in there. So all your bleeds, your marks, make sure your bleeds extend out enough. If you're doing a, a pretty large um, magazine size, such as 8.5 by 11, like this, and uh, you're going to print on thick paper, you want those bleeds to be a little bit bigger than than what they taught you maybe. Maybe it's gonna be 2.5 or something like that. Um, just make sure it's a little bit bigger than what you think it will be, okay? So the bleeds, you might have to change them. That's what I'm telling you to go to your print shop with your laptop, there might be some last minute changes that you want to do onto your PDF, okay? Um, right now, it shouldn't take that much longer. Usually when it says that is ready, it usually takes no time. Okay, there we go. So we created our PDF right now and we're gonna preview it so you guys can see exactly what you guys should be looking for. So I'm just gonna open it up with Safari you guys can just double click on it. You don't don't really have to do Safari. That's just me. Um, so this is how it's supposed to look like. This is how they're gonna print it actually. So it's gonna be your front cover, back cover, okay? And then you're gonna see a whole mix up of things here, which doesn't really matter, okay? Now, if you guys see lines like this, make sure to go back and change them. Um, those are not right, okay? And you guys might see this mix up of things. That's just the way that um, the PDF is organized so when they fold it, it all makes sense, okay? Um, this will actually make sense when once you guys print this and put them together, it will all make sense to you, okay? But this is how it's supposed to look like. Um, our back cover and front cover once again is there, and then you're gonna see all the pages kind of mixed up, okay? So our page 11 goes with this page, which doesn't have a page number because it's a table of contents, but that's the way they get printed. So we, we put them together, once again, they will make sense. So that's the way you guys do this. Make sure to call your print shop before you go and see what size you guys should format this, or maybe even they might do the distiller part for you. But this way you know exactly what's going on. And that's it for this video tutorial. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them here below. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.